Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I wanted to go through the application called Moonlight for the PS Vita. And it's a game streaming client for the PS Vita where you can stream off of the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application off your computer and play some of your favorite PC games or whatever you want to do on your PC and stream it onto your PS Vita. And I'm currently playing Diablo 4, which is looking not too bad. And it's running pretty decent. I've been logged in here for the last 20 minutes. And there is a slight lag here and there. A little bit of a reduction in uh, frames. But when you're playing a game like this, I, I think you would experience something like that. Because this game requires... Uh, online connection unfortunately but um yeah it's looking pretty slick on the ps vita and i'll be showing you here just like that so yeah moonlight an open source nvidia game stream client in order for you to use the moonlight application on your ps vita you will need somewhat of a decent computer uh, with a good enough graphics card to run your games and play them through the client and obviously the uh, internet connection. So you have to have something, uh, an upload speed of like 5 megabits per second, at least the minimum. And as far as your graphics card goes, you will need something of the GTX, RTX 60, not 60, but 600 plus series or an NVIDIA Quadro GPU. Uh, Kepler series or later so all the details will be in the comment section down below I'll provide all these uh, pages the uh, the setup guide and also a troubleshooting guide which is pretty massive there's a lot of different uh, things that can happen with this application where some things are not going to work but they have outlined most of those issues and how to troubleshoot that and to fix it so I know for me personally there is a uh, a weird bug which I'll show you here and it's not too bad where <clears throat> where I can't really use it it's just a weird way to have it set up where is moonlight I just had that oh now I can't find it. here we go so yeah connected to the same internet connection the latest update to moonlight is version 0.9.3 so make sure you do have the latest release because this will fix a bug where you won't be able to actually connect to your pc so let's search for devices here and there's my desktop and i already have it all set up where i can just connect it and resume my streaming of my pc so let's resume connection here and resume stream starting and my PC started to pick up because now it's going to try to stream this on my Vita so awesome and now I'm using my PS4 controller that's connected via Bluetooth to my PS Vita just like that and we're running the Diablo 4 so uh, with this now I'm going to exit out this game okay so now we're streaming off my desktop and I'll show you very quickly how to get this set up so here's the GeForce experience you will need this application set up on your PC it's very easy to do just go and uh, get it off the website download it install it and you're good to go and once you have this all set up and you're logged in, you want to go to the cogwheel or to the settings and go under shield. And you want to make sure that the game stream is enabled. And once that's enabled, you should be able to get your PC up and running and connected. So what we'll do right now is get out of moonlight and talk about a few things here let's open that up and I do have to have my GeForce experience opened so I just wanted to talk about some troubleshooting things 
that may help you with your connection. This is what worked for me. Uh, I'm going to remove all devices. So I'll have to set up uh, Moonlight once again, or the, uh, the connection to my PC uh, one more time. So when you're in Moonlight, make sure you have your Wi-Fi connection enabled. And under your settings, you can change the resolution, but it's recommended to leave it at 1280 by 720. If you do want that native resolution, there is the 960 by 544. If you want to do that, I'll leave it at 1280 720 for now. Uh, you can change your frames uh, to 30 or 60. And the bit rate, I leave it at 10,000. I know on my stream I did say a thousand. That was completely wrong. So uh, it's at ten thousand. I'll leave that. Everything here I just kept it the same, and it was able to get that connection going. So you may have to go in here, uh, do a little bit of uh, changes, and also changes on your PC. I know there's on Windows 11 there is this feature where it disables like a streaming, and that's all available through their. Um, through their wiki or their troubleshooting page which you can take a look at uh, there's a lot to go through there but I don't want to make this video too long where we're talking about every single issue where you could just go in and read that article or the the page and I'm just going to show you what worked for me uh, so yeah let's go back and let's search for devices so again make sure that's enabled on your uh, Xperia play or not Xperia Play, but the uh, GeForce Experience. So you, there's my desktop and test connection. So before I had the version of 0.9.3, I had uh, the 0.2 version where it was just not connecting. Anytime I added the desktop, it would say failed connection. So the 9.3 version will fix that issue. So again, like I said before, just make sure you have the latest update to Moonlight. Uh, let's hit OK. And for me, this is what worked. I went back to return. And then I saw current connection. It says current connection to 10.0.0.24. So I hit X. And it says connected to the server. And it reads my GPU, a GeForce RTX 2080 Super. Very nice. And I'm going to hit pair. Now, you will see at the bottom of your screen, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shield is requesting to connect. And on your Vita, you'll see the code that pops up. So this is 9959. I will type that into the GeForce Experience box down below. Let's hit connect. <clears throat> and now it's going to be connected. So it just disconnected. But that's not a problem. I'll just go to search devices, close this application real quick, and reopen Moonlight. There's my desktop. It says, can add device list. So hit OK. I go to return, resume my connection. And if I hit Steam, one of the applications that I can stream on here, for some reason, it doesn't want to connect. So I hit the World of Warcraft Legion application. And for some reason, it starts to work. It starts to connect. It even changes the resolution on my monitor. And now we're seeing my desktop. And it's completely connected to the PC via internet connection. I don't know how that all works but it works <laughs> crazy and it's pretty cool. So again, here's my desktop. I'm actually moving my mouse around. Uh, there's no way for me to really uh, move the mouse around with my uh, analogs, but I can move it with the touchpad of the PS4 controller. And you can do the same with the touchscreen of the uh, PS Vita but it's just so inconvenient, it kind of sucks. Uh, so, let's open up Steam here. And I'll move this over. I'll just use my mouse, it's gonna be a lot quicker. And go to my library. 
and we can use the big picture this is a lot better when you're using a controller my opinion but yeah i just did a hypercharge unbox that one is working just fine so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching i wanted to touch up on moonlight here a little bit Obviously, there's so much more to talk about when it comes to this really cool uh, gaming client for the PS Vita. And I just don't want to go into too much with it because there's just so much to talk about. And hopefully we can make like a part two video on this and obviously discuss it more on stream. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Any questions, please comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Take care guys and we'll see you on the next one.